it's Rich Thompson, and I'm reading A Fresh Magazine. It's great. Great. Now, what we do is try to... Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Hi, I'm Ann Schieber with A Fresh Entertainment Magazine and A Fresh TV, and I'm here with Samus Theory. Tell me how you guys come up with the name for your band. That's uh, it's a very long story, um, it, but <laughs> what it means is it's basically like the uh, the alter ego that music brings out of everybody. And that's kind of it's evolved into that. You know, Having a really like, bad day, you pop your favorite CD in, and completely your mood has changed, your persona has changed. Well, it's like when yeah, you're you're different when you do nine to five, and then you go to a concert and you're the first person in the pit. Right. You know, so that's that's kind of what the name is uh, about. Having an alter ego. Exactly. With Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And who writes most of the music? Um, well, I, I usually sit down and I'll write down, I'll, you know, I'll write the core piece of it and then I'll bring it out and then we all work on it together and we figure out what works, what doesn't, and uh, basically shape it into the final song, you know. Now, if somebody had never heard you guys before, how would you describe your music for the public audience? Tough. We call it heavy rock because it's kind of like a mixture of, uh, it's not necessarily hard rock, like you're in the band, you're saying, but it's not like that. Right. It's that nice middle ground where it's still heavy, hard to it's like a long chorus, and it's good melody, good uh, yeah. music. Yeah. Like your metal head will like it, but also your first metal will only listen to Nickelback. It's so heavier edge yeah. commercial rock. It's like, I like to tell people it's like a, it's like a mix between Seether and Slipknot. You know, it's that, it's on that edge between both of them. Absolutely. What about lyrics? Do you guys all write the lyrics then, too? Is it good? No, we'll leave it up to them. I'm Marshall, I play drums. Sam, I sing. Jeremy, I play guitar. Nick and I play bass. I'm cool, I play rhythm guitar. Yay! <laughs> 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 Good improv. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Okay. What, uh, have you guys been traveling doing tours and stuff? Uh, since basically since June of uh, last year, we've been out minus a couple couple weeks here and there at home. Just constant, constant, constant touring, five, four or five nights a week, 90% of the time. And, and you guys have somebody that follows you really closely Oh, Cassie, our uh, street team leader. Yeah, she's amazing. She does a lot of work. Um, she pushes us like crazy, and she's also, I mean, she's got to be a very close friend of all of ours. So she is absolutely awesome. So. Now, the, as the music that you do, um, do you guys have a favorite out of all the stuff that you've done so far, or working on new stuff that you like better? Um, it depends. Like, I don't studio. Like it <laughs> <laughs> Mary states everything. Uh, like studio as opposed to live, like I, I really, I really, really, really enjoy um, the song called Pure. I like doing that one because it's really good getting the crowd involved and everything. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, as far as studio, um, I think our new one, Pedestal, is one of my favorite ones. That came, it just came out real solid. You know, uh, definitely what we were shooting for. Really new stuff. Yeah, I think we all have our own personal favorites. I really like playing. Definitely our hardest hitting, heaviest, just all down song for the news. It's all fun if you're alive. The thing is, it's such a simple song that's like you can do more things. Like I can run around the stage and he can, uh, whatever it is you do. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes kissing is the best thing. Yeah. What about a uh, bizarre moment? Got a couple days. Yeah. yeah. I'll just I'll just say I'll just say the same. Oh, I'll tell you I'll yeah. tell you a story. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. So we were looking for an RV park, <laughs> and we were in Mathis, Texas, and we're driving around, and we're in the backwoods, and we end up going down this road. That's Which like, sets it up for a perfect horror story. Yeah, it was All terrifying. Right. So we're All it's right. literally backwoods, like. Pitch Deep black, backwards. and it says Southern office tech. this way. So we start, we turn down this itty bitty little muddy road, and we're going. And we we reach this spot about a mile down. It has this big sign, 
which says no trespassing and area. ranger on duty and all of a sudden we're like uh, so we had to back the trailer all the way or the RV and trailer all the way out oh it took us like 20 minutes and then we drove and well we, and I'm convinced the whole time somebody's watching this it was, was watching there was trees and forests <laughs> on both hey sides Jimmy look at them over there yeah so we uh, so we pull out and we go to this place just outside of Mathis that's closer to town we pull in and we circle the lot and all the lots are full and everything and on the way out we look over and there's an old guy Sitting in a chair, not moving, and eyes wide open, just sitting there. Just doesn't look at us, doesn't blink, nothing. And we're like, that guy's dead. Go, go. <laughs> we're not staying here. Yeah. It's like, does someone want to go ask him if there's any vacancies? Or Nope. That was terrifying. So then when, when we got into Mathis, we felt a little better. It's still a scary town. No offense, but it's terrifying. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Cut out of there as soon as we could. Yeah, we stayed the night and we had spiders in the shower that were like this big, huge, yeah, floating around. around in the trailer that you know of. <laughs> 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 Get one of the ghost shows with that. No, Nick's head did spin all the way around. But that has I threw up yeah, pea that's... soup. <laughs> <laughs> Again, and it freaked out anything like that yet? What's that? About a, that type of adventure. Have you written a song about it? No, not uh, not yet. I'm sure something will come up that will scare us into thinking we're going to die at some point. We need to write it. We need to write it. On the road again. <laughs> Turn the page. Yeah. Well, go ahead and plug your CD where people can find you. We got uh, we got the typical MySpace Facebook MySpace.com Facebook.com slash the Samus Theory two M's S A M M U S uh, the Samus Theory.com we have a brand new album well, almost brand new our newest album uh, See It Through released in June of '09 available on iTunes uh, Shot Count and Best Buys Hot Topics um, I would say just go to our, our website we got links and everything on there all the info you can find on the band everything so. So, check out Samus Theory, get one of their CDs, and support these guys, because they're bringing music back the way it needed to be. And because we're hungry. Yes. Yeah. We <laughs> like to eat. We like, we like more than ramen. <laughs> <laughs> more than ramen. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you guys very much. You guys are, you guys are very, very awesome.